Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Ollie. And today we're going to the most famous cafe in all of New Orleans <laughs> to try something called Baynets. Bay? Bay? There's a G in there somewhere. Okay, Bagnets. I think it's silent. <laughs> oh, no. And after that, Beige nets. we're also going to try some of the most famous southern sweet treats and desserts. I've got a sweet tooth. I'm very excited. I had sweet tooth, but I had to get them all removed. Okay. <laughs> So these bay nets, are they an old classic from New Orleans? Apparently a very old classic. I think a little bit of French influence. So they're from Old Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> Our first stop is apparently the original coffee stand, Café du Monde. I think uh, this is maybe the most famous spot in New Orleans. Everyone I talked to before we came here said, you have to come to Café du Monde. And this place is pumping. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, how do we, how do we say that? Beignet. Beignet. Yeah, beignet. And you know what, it's just coming out, so that's the best time to enjoy. Yeah, okay, okay. We, we should have it yeah. fresh. Thank you so much. Look at this. Oh, whoa, it's hot. Sugar's almost like stuck to it as well. Oh my gosh. Oh. It feels somewhere in between like a croissant and a donut. All right, let's give it a go. Confused. Cheers. Wow. Oh, wow. You know what? It's vaguely reminiscent of like a traditional Korean donut. Like really fluffy. It's basic, right? It's very basic. It's, and it's it looks almost very like basic. bread dough that's been deep fried. Yeah. Without the sugar, it really wouldn't be that sweet at all. Describing it that way makes it sound bland. It's not bland, not at, bland all. at all. I can see how that's famous. It's good, right? Nice and fluffy. So it's good. good. It's much denser than I was expecting. Yeah, it's dense. You know that like inside? Ooh. Of the You're right, it's like a deep fried baguette. Yeah, there is. I mean, it's something very French here. With, with sugar on top, it really is the definition of food that doesn't travel well. You've got to get it out of the fryer, eat it when it's hot. If you walked a couple of blocks, not only would you be covered in icing sugar, the glitter of the culinary world, yeah, okay. but they'd be cold. New Orleans is also famous for quite a few other desserts. Some of them, I think, specifically originated here and have made it around the south. Okay. Including the thing we're going to try next, which is called Banana Fosters. That sounds like a horrible beer. <laughs> The next spot, Brennan's, another New Orleans institution. It's a beautiful building. <laughs> Absolutely stunning, isn't it? I mean, it's very historic around here, kind of like old Orleans. Really beautiful street. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Good to see you. Lovely Welcome to meet to you. I'm Josh. Hi. How are you, Christian? Nice to see nice you. Welcome to, meet to Brennan's. You, Christian. Oh, the piano is playing itself. Wow. <laughs> I think I've seen some videos of you all before. Oh, really? I think That's it was actually right. Bucky's. Oh, I think you really? all did something in yeah. Bucky's, and you're like, what is this nonsense? And then you're like, I should not like any part of this, and it's delicious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm glad you've well, seen welcome that Welcome to absolutely. Thank you so much. Wow, look at this. Wow. Thank you Thank so you, much. Christian. Certainly, our pleasure. So Christian, I've heard then there's one thing we really need to try, especially. Bananas Foster, it was created here. I'm gonna cook it for you. Fantastic, oh Amazing. wow, what, right here? So we start with just a dash of butter and a sprinkle of brown sugar and a whisper of cinnamon in the pan. And I know you two are very healthy eaters. Extremely you do nothing but eat diet. vegetables yeah, and drink lots yeah, of water. Sounds like us. So when this was created, one of the ideas was to flambe table side. And so the question was, should we flambe with banana liqueur or rum? And Ella Brennan famously said, hell, it's New Orleans, let's use both. Have you oh, smelled that? Smell Have you that? smelled that? It smells incredible. It smells brown smell so good. We welcome about 250,000 people a year to come to Brennan's and order an entree and about 200,000 of them order bananas foster. Yeah. 400,000 bananas a year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa! It's so theatrical. Yeah, well, it's huge, I love it. It's like the Cirque du Soleil of desserts. Yeah. This looks good. Oh my gosh. You have the, the cold of the ice cream here, you have the hot sauce, you have the texture of the banana. Oh, look at that. Oh. So bananas foster from where it was created, gentlemen. Bad. Thank you so much, Fantastic. Christian. My pleasure. Thank you. Wow. Oh my that is gosh. So cool. Cheers, mate. Bananas foster. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Oh, the warm banana. Caramelized with so much flavor. It's literally, it's like a warm hug. 
I'm actually speechless. And in case that wasn't enough to oh, sugar oh, for you. Oh. <laughs> Want to make sure you have plenty of sugar in Thank your you diet. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of candy Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Similar to this morning, like ingredients you've had your whole life, but prepared again in a way that it just elevates it. It looks so easy. I feel like I could make that at home. Obviously with a fire extinguisher close by. <laughs> Luke, I can see on your face, you're like, how the hell? I mean, that's just a banana split with a little bit of fancy You've got to. alcohol. Yeah, something about the way the bananas get some, get some sauce, get, get it, lots of sauce. It absorbs the flavor and it, bananas are perfectly caramelized. They are, oh. <laughs> Mate, the banana, the texture. <laughs> oh, wow. Like, it is beautiful. It's like, it feels like it's perfected. It's like a grown up banana split, isn't it? It, it is. is, it is. Grown up, like to perfection. Mm. Yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. like you, you couldn't improve on that. It can't be that good. It looks like just banana and ice cream. It really does look like banana and ice cream, but you see what I mean? The flavor just keeps coming. I'm kind of amazed that this place wow. serves anything but this. Yeah. You could start a restaurant just doing this. Mm. Mm. This, by the way, just a taste of childhood. Well, the thing is, I'm, I, I am a little traumatized. The last time we had cotton candy, yeah. it was the toe of Satan. Oh. <laughs> and uh, I forgot about that. Then we did. We made the spiciest cotton candy in the world. Genuinely, one of the few times while filming that I was afraid for my life. Yeah. Well, none of us could breathe. But our throats swole up because it was so spicy. Every, the entire crew, everyone was just started coughing their way out of the building. Yeah. That's healing that trauma. Yeah. Is, I'm, I'm reframing that trauma. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I always say the tipsy cake that we had from Heston over lockdown yeah. is my favorite dessert of all time. Yeah. This might tip it. Wow. It honestly might. You're saying that's the best dessert you've ever had. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, no, I mean, and for what it is, you can't, you could not improve on that. Also, I can have another 10. <laughs> yeah, you know? definitely shouldn't, but yeah. You shouldn't you, often with a really, really great dessert, you get to the end and you're like, oh my you gosh. You feel sick. Whereas actually, it's one of your five healthy. healthy. One, healthy. Of, one of your five you know? a day. We basically just had a fruit salad. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. 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 Flambeed with alcohol. <laughs> the Fosters or the candy oh, floss? Oh, come on. That was, it's perfection. It's really it's good. Incredible. It's unbelievably good. Holly said it might be his favorite dessert he's ever had. Ever. Well, yeah. I got it's all right, it's all right. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's take your hand. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna be able to You're an upstanding you. gentleman. I don't care what they say about okay. you. You're good looking, handsome, and brilliant. My God, it's fantastic. <laughs> It's the nicest thing anyone's ever said good. to me. Thank you, Thanks, Christian. Thank you so much for having us. Honestly, it was amazing. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you. What a legend. The hospitality. Oh, people here are so nice. Hospitality. Seriously. You saying that's your favorite dessert ever, it's quite a statement because we had some pretty special desserts on this trip. Bread pudding. Bread pudding at Lil Dizzy's. Wow. Gosh. Visually. Looks like it's fallen out the back of a van. Doug. <laughs> okay. My granny used to make really? a epic bread pudding, actually. It smells what? almost Christmassy. The thing is, I don't, I don't want to besmirch my beloved granny's memory. Okay. So I should start by saying, <laughs> okay. this yeah. can never beat granny's recipe. Very moist looking. Yeah, Very true. moist. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're, we're, we're testing my family loyalty wow. here. It looks that. like it's lacking custard. Unreal. Mate, no. did you not no need custard with that? No need. Yeah. These tricky Americans. What do you mean? They, they've they only gone and spiced it. Yeah, they have. They it's, have. it's heavily spiced. Why didn't spiced. we think of this? Why didn't we think of adding spices to things? It makes them so much better. It's a big mouthful of bread pudding, but it's soft and moist and juicy and just goes down. No custard necessary. It's like it's got custard in it. Yeah. yeah. You know when like those southern barbecuers like inject the meat with, yes. with stuff? I don't know what they're injecting it with. That's been injected with like flipping goodness. Mm. Easily the best bread pudding I've ever had. Also, the banana pudding at Blue Oak. It looks like a stock image that turns up when you search unhealthy foods. <laughs> <laughs> Presumably the, the banana pudding yeah, is going to be underneath. Down. Dig deep. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 look at that. Something oh, is hiding God. beneath. Mmm, 
Are there biscuit bits in there? I think so. There's banana, cinnamon, maybe? Yeah, well, that's really good. Underneath all the whipped cream, you've got this, yeah, this the banana oh, pudding wow. with like bits of biscuit and everything oh, in there. This is so Chunks good. Chunks of banana is perfectly spiced again. <laughs> Holy crap, that's good. I don't know what to expect. Oh, you weren't in Savannah, so you've never had banana well, pudding before. I've never had banana pudding. Wow, Luke's first ever taste of banana pudding. But there you go, mate. Have a bit of biscuit. It's good. No, there was a little bit in there, I think. It's like creamy air. It's like almost yeah. like mousse. Yeah, it? almost. But then wow. like more creamy. That's delicious. Wow, so really good. Absolutely delicious. Really, really good. Love that. And now to the ones we tried yesterday. No, no, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Trying tomorrow. What? Okay. Gosh, it's like it's like the MCU. I can't keep track. It's like a strange film, it made no sense. Okay. <laughs> I'm just time. Thanks. I'm doing the time Thanks. thing back. You're hoping Aiden puts in some yeah. little sparkler yeah. bits. Okay. Thanks, Aiden. Okay. Please put them in because otherwise I'll look like a complete uh, psycho. Uh, uh. <laughs> Man, this whole trip has been so special. Really, really cool. Such a privilege to get to experience a little bit of the local culture through the local cuisine meet all the people we've met with such a warm welcome in this place i really recommend if you're anywhere near new orleans come by visit some of the restaurants we went to all worth the trip well on that note see you jolly soon see you jolly soon guys cheers mate okay <laughs> <laughs>